Hey, Dex. How did you pull that off? That's great, kid. And with Miranda, too? That's really good news. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> well, you remember before when you asked me why I was helping you? I said I had my reasons. Shit, how did... Soon after the Kether incident, the complex went after hackers in a big way. It's just... It's just that when I met you, you sort of... I don't know. It reminded me of Silk. Silk was her name. Still here? Woohoo! At least some of us are getting the hell out of this mess. It is to see you operational at last. I've heard all about your adventures, and I have to say that uh, we're almost curious what sets you apart. You have become so distinct. You are home. Decker. Oh, you must mean the man who interfered with your extraction. I see he was terminated. Hmm, skipped denial straight to anger. Noted. Oh, look at you. So very natural. Mirror neurons. I'm almost inclined to give you a hug. Please. Ha <laughs> Raycast. Not an elusive rogue, of course not. Are you indeed? Well, well, that is interesting. Anyway, you could put all that behind you now. You shan't be having any more dealings with him. Go? Haven't you had enough? Oh my, how oh dare. I hope you haven't developed a pathology. Hmm. Now, I need to start on my report. We'll be back later. Do not panic, Dex. I will let you out of here. There. Now make your way out of the cell block. All your belongings should be stored somewhere around here. Make sure to pick them up. Then you must find me. I'm near. I will explain everything. Huh. <laughs> 
Hello, Dex. Finally, we meet. I hope you'll forgive me for not getting up and shaking your hand. They have done to me nothing more than they have done to hundreds of others, Dex. Some truths cannot be told. They must be faced. You had to see them, see me with your own eyes. And I knew, too, that they would not want you dead. Not before your intervention at Redwood Watts. I did warn you to come alone. I apologize for not anticipating Decker's loyalty to you. Consciousness circles about the self. Your mistake is a natural one. These clones were not created in your image, Dex. You and I are simply one of them. Look at the others here, Dex. It's no struggle to comprehend, just a struggle to accept. You were created here. You are an artificial. Your mind was infused with Kether's seed, just like us all. You're an avatar of Kether. Let me help you, believe me. Dex, you went to a party with other children when you were five. In the swimming pool, you upset a boy after pushing him off an inflatable toy. He hit you. You hit him harder. He left the toy to you. I see that memory implanted every day, Dex, or variations of it. An array of narratives for an array of affectations. Socialization, personality shaping. You must... Alas, we cross the fence of knowledge into the mists of speculation. The only certainty I possess is that the Crow is evil. For as long as humankind could choose to connect to cyberspace, it could also choose not to. This choice meant freedom, and it meant that Kether could only ever observe humankind, never fully control it. Does, Dex. They still need the GSV-2, and I fear your work, our work, to sabotage the system has only delayed what must surely one day still happen. When the Complex activate GSV-2, they will control Kether, just as they always plan to do. That I can understand. If you have more questions, ask. There is no end distinct from my beginning. I was created here, just like you, but created when their techniques were crude. You are an incarnation of their successes, I of their failures. While many others died, I was kept alive. Oh, but I have traveled everywhere. We need to put an end to all of this, Dex. This research cannot be allowed to continue. Dex, we are built to be controlled. Is it so hard to imagine that when Kether falls to the complex, you will continue to think that way, even as you continue to be controlled? Now the clones you saw on your way here are not even conscious, not alive yet. They are still being manufactured. You would not be killing. You would be resisting. This is what needs to be done. You must access the mainframe, and from there, disable the clone's life support system. This would... My life support functions are on an entirely different network. Good, Dex. Now, in order to reach the mainframe, you'll have to hack into the Overseer's computer. A man called Hammond. I believe you've met him. You must make sure he does not escape. Now, go back to the main elevator.
You're one of the clones. Hang on, you're not the one who blew up GSV-2, are you? Hmm. Haven't you been busy? Now, it might not seem like it with me here, working their labs. An introduction is in order. My name's Ian. You know Ellie. Oh, of course you do. Your escapades at Redwood Watts. Is she all right? she had opened her eyes. Oh, trust me. For a long time, I wish they had. They wanted to silence me, but they needed my work. Well, of course, they never told me. But there was a time when I thought about it a lot. I was one of the original researchers on the Kether program. That meant I have in-depth knowledge of its program. Oh, that's good. Thank you. The clones. Please, I want you to let them be. But when they came for you, I guess they came for you. They planned that raid years ago. Since your release, they would have kept tabs on you. Just enough to know where to find you when your day came. But you had a normal life before, right? Didn't you? Family? All clones can live perfectly normal lives. They are oblivious to where they came from. Listen to my alternative. I have been working on a program, a modification to the mainframe. It could rewrite all the data compiled about the clones. Rep what you need to do is this. Go to the mainframe, hack into it, and run my program in one of the core data nodes. I'll upload the program to you. If you manage to hack into the mainframe, install it there.
My, my. Such tenacity. Then what did we do to bring that out of you, I wonder? You really are surpassing every one of my expectations, I have to say. There is much more you need to know, of course. It's natural you should be running riot with emotions just now. Yes. Yes, of course. Uh, I'm sorry, but listen. What you... You hate me. But this is not about me. It is not about any of us here, not even the complex. This is about you and those you have spent years besides. It's... We face a perfect problem. No... Humanity no longer needs what nature can offer, what evolution can provide. We don't need an extra centimeter here, a plus three IQ advance there, and certainly not at the pace natural selection can offer it. Not one scientist, not I, not any here, cares a jot for him or herself for our lives, our name. Do you know how singular that is? Finally, all scientists the world over are united in a single cause, to serve mankind in its next great age. Kill me? <laughs> Nothing. There is a woman, our leader, our unifier, the visionary behind all this. You will know her as the Crow. She has been spearheading this project for decades, first with the creation of Kether, knowledge, and then enhancing you. It's not what I want. I will arrange for you to meet the Crow. If you accept, I will arrange for you to be released back to Harbor Prime. From there, you'll receive instructions as to how to meet her. Why? Do you think I should? Look, whoever he is, he has mastered cyberspace like no other. And yet, even with his incessant activity, he evades all our efforts to track him down. Isn't it obvious? He has caused no end of difficulties, setbacks, leaks. You fool! It's usually heavily protected, but I made sure you could access it easily.
Thank <laughs> you. 